Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. I have yet another ColourPop unboxing for you guys. So recently I did the palette bundle where you get three nine pan palettes for $15. Well, it's back again. So I had such good luck last time and I had really good luck on the summer mystery box as well. I saw that it's there again, the palette bundle, three for 15 and I went for it. So we're gonna unbox it today, see what all is inside. I'm gonna hope for no duplicates again. Um, I will swatch everything up for you. Probably won't do like try-ons today, but we'll at least see what palettes I got with this mystery and um, yeah, do a little swatches. So if that interests you, stick around and we'll dive right on it. So welcome if you are new here, guys. I really cover a lot of different beauty boxes on my channel. Definitely a big beauty box connoisseur. I like to follow a lot of the popular uh, beauty subscription boxes, as well as some fun mystery boxes and specialty boxes too. And I love to shop and sample a lot of the latest in breaking makeup so that you guys don't have to. And so that's one of the things I love to do here. And I also really love to look at all of this through the lens of a 46 year old here and figure out, you know, all the best products, boxes and brands and tips and all of that for the like, you know, 35 to 40 plus crowd. If all of that interests you, you will want to stick around here because you'll see a lot of that on the channel. Pop that subscribe. It definitely helps your girl out. And with that, Let's open her up here and see what's in this palette. Fingers crossed. Oh, I forgot, guys. I also got a few extra um, things because they had a little, they actually had a sale going on. And I think it might still be going on. They've got some things that are like 80% off right now. So there were some lip products, especially, that were on a mega deal. I went ahead and got them. So also I think if I spent like $30 or more, I got free shipping. So I went ahead and threw these on and they were having such deals on these lippies. So I'll share some of those with you too. But first let's see what palettes we got. So we were promised three of the nine pan ones with this. Ooh. Okay. I did get one repeat. Urgh, darn. But that's okay. Um, I got Baby Got Peach, which I already own. And I think I got this in the last palette bundle, actually. Yeah, I think this was one of the ones. Um, so instead of swatching this one up, I'll swatch the one that I own up for you. I'll also show you a look that I did with it um, so you can get a feel for how it looks on the face. And also, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you are new here, that I do... Um, palette rankings every month. I take all of the palettes I've used for the month and I try to rank them in order of like my favorites. Um, and so ColourPop falls in there a lot of times because I do, I have a lot of ColourPop. I'm probably going to be bringing you guys a specific ColourPop rankings video too. Definitely if you love like a good eyeshadow palette rankings video, you'll want to stick around. Um, I mostly mention it because I've done a look where I always put the looks with these palettes in that video too. Um, so anyway, so I had had one for that video, so I will put that look in here and we will also swatch it, but I'm going to swatch my other one so that I don't mess this one up. I'll go ahead and show you how it looks though in the pan. So here it is. And that one right there is definitely a really fun. Um, it's, you know, it's popping very like party style and everything these others um you know it definitely makes like the peachy looks and all but i feel like it's very wearable palette too like you could kind of make it wearable and like really party glam at the same time i will probably gift this to somebody since it's a repeat for me all right here are the swatches on this one and again i just used my older palette yeah definitely the star of the show is this one is that not the coolest all that like pressed glitter um on the eyes it's you know it's definitely like you save that for kind of your party party town but i do love some of the shimmers in this and it's a fun one so there are the swatches for you okay but moving on i'm very excited about this i've wanted this one so this is going coconuts yay 
So I'm so happy. I do, this is one that I, I'm very glad that I got. So yay, and it's not a repeat. And there we are. Now, I do actually, I think I have some ColourPop PR coming and I'm getting a very similar one to the Go Going Coconuts. It's like the, one of the nude ones though. Um, so I hope that's not gonna, I hope, I hope it's not this one, but I hope that's not a repeat too. So anyway, let's go ahead and swatch this one off camera and I'll be right back. All right guys, here are the swatches. Now I know that for the color lovers out there, this might seem a little boring to you, but I think it is beautiful. I am all about those shades right in there. And they remind me so very much of the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. Let's pull that one out real quick and just compare. Okay, so here is the Natasha Denona one. And here is the Going Coconuts one. So very much reminding me of some of those similar, like that, those two colors right there. Look at that. That's like almost the exact same. And then this middle one in the color pop and that middle one there too, like that just screams Natasha Denona, I need a nude. You don't have as many of the pink, like peachy tones as you do in this one, but those champagne ones are a lot alike. So I am very excited. I will have to like compare them, maybe do a very similar look like Natasha Denona on one side and ColourPop on the other and just see how they compare to each other and see how the formula compares, to be honest with you. Cause I actually really love to play with ColourPop formula and then they're so affordable. So that would be an interesting one. Let me know if you wanna see a little short or video on that. Anyway, I'm very happy I got it. Um, I think it is really pretty and I've always wanted to go in coconuts. So awesome. I'm very excited about that. Okay, next one is in a trance. Now, I don't remember which one this is, but let's open it up. It looks like fun packaging on the front. So we'll see. Oh, pretty. Ah, oh, that's gonna be gorgeous for spring. Really pretty colors, very pastel. It looks really pretty. It reminds me a lot of the, the other one that they got. I wonder if that's the same. Hold on, I'm gonna show you the other palette real quick. So I think it was either last time or in one of the mystery ones. I got the Miss Bliss and then here's In a Trance. So similar like packaging, don't you think? And then let me show you. These may have come out around the same time, I don't know. So here is side by side. They both have those very pastel. <sighs> Color pop always breaks on me, always, okay. My last mystery bundle or palette, I had a pan come out and break just like last time. So it's not something that I can salvage and put back together. And this is another one that I really love. I guess I'm gonna have to stop holding these up like that. I wanted to point out like that middle pan though, that it looks very similar. And this just has such a similar feel in the packaging and see like the little hearts and everything. But oh my gosh, it happened again. It broke right on camera. So that is the only downside with ColourPop guys. I, I really love ColourPop and I love their formulas and all their packaging and what you're gonna get, but they break so easily every time. I mean, Almost all the time when I've had deliveries, I've come, they've come with broken pans. Or I've had this kind of situation happen so much and it's always with ColourPop. So, and they were really good last time when this happened about replacing it for me. So I guess I can ask him, but since it's not a brand new one, I don't know if they'll replace it, you know, because uh, it wasn't like right away. Cause this is my older one. Erg. Uh, I'm so upset about that. Anyway, you guys witnessed it right here on camera. <laughs> At least it wasn't the brand new one, but I still really liked this one. So I didn't want that to be the case. Ugh. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this and be very careful about how I hold it. And I'll be right back. All right, here are the swatches though. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like cotton candy right on the arm. So I can't wait to play with that one. I'm just gonna be very careful about how I hold this, but look at that, get out. Oh my gosh, beautiful. That is gonna be so much fun. Okay, now I figure I'll show you the lip products that I got in this haul as well. So this is called All My BFFs and it is 
uh, a lippy pencil. It's basically three lip pencils, so like lip liners, and I'll go ahead and swatch these up for you too. I just need lip liners and I need like neutrals. So I think though guys that I might have gotten this for like two dollars. Seriously. Because this was mega discounted like on their sale. So I am pretty sure I got most of these lip ones for like two bucks. All right this is BFF. Are they all BFF? Okay this is BFF then you have BFF2 that's like a little bit darker and then BFF3 that's the most deep one. There we go and these have you know it's like the kind of more gel um, lip consistency so not like a straight pencil but I love that. I love when they're like the glide ones honestly so I got that and then I got another lip pencil and so this one is the style stay on point it says just sharpen me and it is the shade overtime that is more of a red and I do always need like a good red liner to go with more of my red lippies that's gonna be a little bit bright and that was also kind of a gel type finish and then I got an actual lip cream. So some more lip stick. This is in the shade BB Spice. I love one of the lipsticks that they sent in the um, mystery box. So I'm hoping I like this too. So this one's more, it's a lip cream though. So I don't think it's like a, it's not gonna be like a matte um, liquid lip, but it's kind of like cream in a, little tube here. I love that color. So pretty. So yeah, so those were the three lippy products I added on. So my total I think was about 30 bucks. And each of those lip products or a couple of them I think were only like two dollars each. And then one of them may have been a little more than that. I can't remember now. But yeah, some major deals on that sale. So I was like, wow, they were so discounted. I grabbed them and then it helped me get to my my shipping, my free shipping. So that was everything in the bundle. So let's think about if it was worth it. I spent $15 and I got three nine pans. So one of them was a repeat. So say like I had only gotten two, you know, two that I'm actually going to use that are not a repeat. Um, then typically all of these nine pans are about what, $14 each. So if I'd have gotten two, I would have spent 28 bucks right there, right? but I only spent 15. So still got a major deal, even though I kind of only got two out of it and I can gift the third, right? So I think it was still worth it for me and it was good. And I'm just, I think my favorite, honestly, both of the two that are not repeats for me are favorites because I love this go co going coconuts. Like I just, those are shades I am so drawn to, those champagnes and very wearable for me but then this in a trance is just so stunning with like these cotton candy colors and shades like oh my goodness so I'm thrilled with that so anyway yeah that was fun um so yeah I will put the info down in my caption because I think it's still available if it is I'll definitely put it in the caption for you if you want to shop the mystery bundle the palette bundle and take your chances. I mean, $15, like what a steal. So this is a major grab. Um, and it, this is different from what I did last time. I know somebody was asking, you know, I just did one back in June and that was the one I did also. So um, yeah, so it's a different set of palettes. I mean, I did get one repeat, but you're always taking a gamble every time you do this, especially if you own a lot of color pop. You're bound to see a repeat every now and then, right? So that's my first repeat I've really gotten. Um, I've had a lot of good luck with these mystery boxes. So um, it was worth it for me still. And I'm happy with my lip products. I needed all of these. So yeah, so it was good. All right, guys. So anyway, let me know if you're picking one up or if you got one too and what you got. And stick around if you want to see more unboxings, more beauty box fun here and lots of other you know, latest makeup and a lot of reviews and tips and whatnot. And yeah, thanks for watching. Turn the notification bells to on so you don't miss it in the future. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.